But the key thing is the quality of personnel. And it was uh, 10 years ago now uh, that uh, a young banker turned up on our doorstep with a suitcase asking to work in uh, the world of think tankery. And I looked skeptically, but very soon it became apparent to me and everyone else that it was the best uh, personnel decision that we ever took. And he is, of course, our guest of honor uh, here tonight. He's been a great friend. He sticks by his friends. That's one of many aspects of his personality. And that's why I'm so pleased to introduce you tonight to the Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good evening, everybody. It's lovely to see you all. Now, as, as some of you may know and have been reading recently, I, I have a former boss who is still present in my life. Now, he keeps, uh, he keeps texting me, saying he wants to have a catch-up and saying that there's lots that we need to discuss. And if I'm going to be completely candid with you all, this does make some in my team quite nervous. Uh, and they worry, they worry that if I give in to his requests, it's going to consume far too much of my time and that we see the world just too differently these days, because he still looks at it through the lens of uh, Daily Telegraph comment editor, and I'm a former finance guy. Uh, we're also very, very different personalities. He has a small, energetic dog that barks a lot, and I have a slightly more well-behaved, serene Labrador. Uh, <laughs> but despite all of that, all there is to say about my former boss is this. Dean, it is a pleasure to see you. <laughs> Uh, but it, it's great to be with you all at PX tonight, and what a stunning venue for this party, as it always is, in the shadow of Westminster Abbey. But I've got to tell you, if you want to see a really beautiful abbey, you should actually all head to Selby Abbey, which is particularly lovely at this time of year. Uh, and under Dean, Policy Exchange has led the way in so many areas. He's truly been prepared to think the unthinkable. But having an Australian chairman in an ashes summer might be a step too far, uh, Alexander. Uh, but it is a pleasure to be here because my first work, as Dean said, at Westminster was at Policy Exchange. I ran a project on ethnic minority voting attitudes. Now, the left is always slightly surprised that it is the Conservative Party that has produced Britain's first non-white prime minister. But let me tell them why it is the party, a party that had its first ethnic minority leader when Queen Victoria was on the throne that always breaks these barriers and not the left. It's because we on the centre-right judge people by who they are, not what they are. And that's how we avoid falling into the trap of reductive identity politics. And Policy Exchange is continuing to work in this area. For example, their recent report on how schools must respect safeguarding concerns when it comes to gender issues is one that deserves close attention. Now, this party is one of the great events of the Westminster summer season, and it isn't just the intellectual nourishment that PX provides all of us. But we must remember why we are here, who we are here to serve, because ultimately this is not about us. It's about the people that we are privileged to represent. We are in politics, in government, to make people's lives better. And this country has challenges ahead. We must get inflation down. Now, I know that squeezing inflation out of the system is not going to be easy. It's going to impose real costs on people. But if we don't act now, it will cause more pain. It will become embedded and erode everyone's standard of living. Now, morally, it would not be right to take the easy course. What we are doing is tough but necessary. Tackling inflation relentlessly must be our immediate priority. Now, I'm not the only policy exchange alumnus in number 10. Liam Booth-Smith, my chief of staff, worked here, as did my foreign policy advisor, John Bew, and Rupert Oldham-Reed, and several others in the building. But it's the quality of policy exchange's ideas that actually make it so influential. The work PX has done on how to deal with Just Stop Oil and their protest tactic, tactics has helped us craft new legislation that allows people to go about their daily lives and watch their cricket without being disrupted <laughs> by slow-walking eco-extremists. And it was incredibly important and valuable work that is now going to make a difference every day. But I'm also, in conclusion, trying to prevent the disruption of a splinter group of Just Stop Oil 
called Just Stop British Oil and the damage that they would cause. It is imparted, funded by the same person. The splinter group is led by a 60-year-old lawyer from North London who has a long history, which he now tries to deny, of associating with hard left figures. But their policies would threaten both our energy security and our jobs here in the UK. And my job is to stop that from happening. So thank you for all your support. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And as Dean said, keep the ideas flowing because that's how we're going to make a better country.